We have some news out today about more money absolutely wasted in Afghanistan. Huffington Post reports, quote, The Department of Defense spent almost $43 million to build a compressed natural gas station in Afghanistan that would have cost up to $500,000 anywhere else and which may and which may no longer even be operational. Damn. So they go on to say here that figures from the International Energy Association and the Pakistani government say it could have cost as little as $200,000 to create, even in a, a relatively dangerous country like Afghanistan. So the experts are saying, eh, $200,000, $500,000, and we ended up paying $43 million and it likely doesn't even work right now. That's unreal. Now, I, I actually found it a little funny when I was reading the article here and when I saw all the headlines and all the outrage. Because it shows you how shitty our memory is. Because, yeah, of course this is a noteworthy story. That's why I'm fucking covering it. But the idea that it's like, oh, we found this one little nugget of a problem where we wasted money and isn't that terrible? No, we've covered in detail, every time an article like this has gotten released over the past three years, we've covered it in detail. And just to refresh your memory here, uh, we spent $34 million to build a base that was never used. Not once. State-of-the-art base, 34 mil, down the drain, never used it. Uh, we spent another $34 million to try and make soybeans popular in Afghanistan. That went nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. Total waste of money. Uh, then, of course, there, there are the 747,000 missing guns. Missing guns. Then there's the money for the Afghan schools that went to the Taliban and various warlords. Of course, the warlords are on our side. The Taliban is not on our side. And, side note here, the warlords who we backed are well known to fuck children. And our troops were ordered to look the other way as our allies fucked children. Uh, then also there's the, I hope you're sitting down, $45 billion, with a B, that is unaccounted for. Nobody knows where it is. The Cigar Report only covered, I think it was $21 billion uh, of, you know, where we... The money that we were able to figure out where it went. And of that $21 billion, a lot of that was waste. So of the $21 billion that we looked at, a lot of it's waste. But then there's still $45 billion that the government's like, Where the fuck did this go, man? I thought I put it in the fucking glove compartment. It's gone. I don't know where it is now. Guys, this is war profiteering. This is war profiteering 101. Same thing happened in Iraq. I think the number was less in Iraq of the billions, of, was it two or three billion or something like that missing in Iraq? And that was a bigger headline than this one. <laughs> We're like, yeah, no, the report focused on this 21 billion, but don't worry about 45 billion, whatever, we don't know where it is. I can probably tell you where a lot of it is. It's probably with Raytheon and Honeywell and Boeing <laughs> and other corporations like that. And it's probably continuing to pay off a puppet government that we propped up there. Just like we learned in Iraq where we were paying ghost soldiers. You know, thousands of Iraqi soldiers that didn't exist that we were paying for. Our tax dollars were paying for it because we put up this puppet army to protect the non-country of Iraq. And then the people proceeded to drop the weapons and run the second they saw ISIS. So th this is, you know, one of the main problems here with this imperialist project. It doesn't fucking work. It was never about our highest ideals and goals and humanitarianism and altruism and being the world police. The real motivations show after a while. We're only human, guys. You know, there's a lot of people, you walk up to the head of some corporation and you say, Hey, I'm going to give you a, a, a contract for $80 million to build fucking widgets for me for this war. Wait, what do you think? Person gonna say, no, I'm going to stand on principle because I'm against this war. Now they're going to say, fuck yeah, bitch, give me the money. And then they'll cut corners and make it cheaply and put, you know, 18 million of the 80 million they got in, in their bank account. And the rest of the money was built shitty products and only half the products get to Afghanistan. And then once they get there, some of it the fucking Taliban gets. And it's inefficient and it's a giant bureaucracy and it's gross and a lot of people get rich off of it. 
And it, the end result is we're not any better off. In fact, we're worse off. Afghanistan is worse off. Iraq is worse off. In all the places where we're fighting, they're worse off. And a lot of that is actually related to the fact that we fucked up the war so bad. We should have never went in there in the first place. And never mind, of course, the elephant in the room, which is that you're getting fucking hosed. 